What's up guys, today we're going to do a short video on Netcat, a powerful networking utility that allows you to listen and connect to a wide variety of addresses and ports. We're going to look at three examples of cool things you can do with Netcat from a jailbroken iPhone to make things more interesting. For example, transferring pictures from your iPhone to another computer over Wi-Fi, starting a chat server, and more. Let's get started. First off, if you want to do this from an iPhone as well, make sure it's jailbroken. This is very easy thanks to the new CheckRain exploit, which you can check on the video above. Or you can run these commands from any terminal, given that you have Netcat installed. With that out of the way, open Cydia and look for terminal support. We want to install new term. This will be our terminal for running commands. Then let's head over to the networking tools and look for netcat. Go ahead and install that. Alright, those are all the tools we need. Let's begin with the examples. Go ahead and open new term. Then if you want to know everything the netcat does, you can run the minus h flag to see all the options. After that, let's run ifconfig to find out what IP address we have on the network. For the first example, we're going to run netcat minus lvvp4020. This command simply tells netcat to listen on port 4020 and output to the screen any connections or data received from the client. Alright, now let's head over to our laptop running Kali Linux. Here we'll go ahead and run netcat minus vv and connect to our iPhone's IP address and port. This will allow us to begin our two-way chat between the two systems. It's an easy way to have a conversation between two computers without any additional software. Now let's jump into example number two. For this example, we're going to run commands on our laptop using netcat. All we have to do is run the same command netcat minus lvvp on port 4420. Here on my laptop, I'm on my python control server post I made a while ago. We'll copy the client source code and use that to connect to our netcat listener on the iPhone. Let's open a text editor and save that with the correct IP address. Then we can run it to allow the iPhone to control my laptop remotely. This one is pretty useful, it allows you to run any command like start a program or whatever. Anyway, let's jump into the last example in which we'll transfer a video recorded on the iPhone to our laptop using Netcat. Alright, so for this last example, let's navigate our way into the media folder of our iPhone. We want to find a picture or video to send over to the laptop over Wi-Fi using Netcat. Let's go ahead and read the content of this video file and pipe it to Netcat. This will basically transfer the video file once the connection is initialized. To sum it up, we'll listen for a client. Once they connect, we'll transfer over the video file. Then, the minus C flag will close the connection once we reach the end of file, making it a simple and effective file transfer when you're too lazy to look for a cable and all of that. Now here on the laptop, we'll just connect to the iPhone's IP address and input the content of the connection to a video file. This should go ahead and download the MP4 for us, 
and close the connection once it's done. So there you go. You can see it transferred the 19 megabytes pretty fast. I'm gonna go ahead and run the video file to make sure it was fully transferred. But yeah, that's the three examples we have for you today on Netcat. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and I'll see you next time.